Hi Capricorn, welcome to your mid-May general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Capricorn. For this reading Capricorn, I'm going to tune into an energy that is in or around your energetic field that currently has romantic feelings or intentions towards you at this time, whether you're together or separated. I'm going to just dig deep into how they feel about you right now, what do they think about you, what do they want the most from this connection, and what do they fear the most. So this is not going to resonate with every Capricorn that watches this message, and if this message is not for you, I suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi Cross Watchers, you're very welcome here if you're interested in a Capricorn. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Capricorn and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid. This means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the most. Alright Capricorn, let's do this. So, how do they feel about Capricorn right now, Spirit? Seven of Swords, all right. Aquarius energy. Some of you could be connected to an Aquarius. You could have an Aquarius in your chart. Uh, you could have Aquarius in your chart. It doesn't have to be the case. Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness, Capricorn. There's someone here who who played you. Or you felt you got played by them. You felt they were dishonest. You felt they were sneaky. And now the tables have turned, interestingly enough. Now that you dropped something, now that you have no faith or trust in something here, they're really feeling alone now. And it's almost as if Capricorn, you played the player in this. And I feel that you two had something going on, on and off. Um, they were always the one to leave. They were always the one to make excuses, to push you away, to even ghost you on and off for some of you. But now, now they, they feel differently that now that you're not reciprocating, now that you're not cooperating like you once did before, you really lay down the law <laughs> in some sort of way. And if it's not so much that, it's like you really put your foot down and you're not budging. You're not, and they caught feelings, Capricorn. They caught feelings that they didn't know what to do with them. They didn't know how to, to react with them because they played a game for so long. They thought they were the master of the board until you came in and it completely cha changed everything but they have regrets when it comes to you they they're now stuck where you were once stuck with them and if you guys are feeling that same energy for some of you maybe um trust that they're feeling this stuck en energy a lot more than you are and that may even be surprising to you at the bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Wands, Leo energy. Some of you could be connected to a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart. This is when you guys first kind of met, I feel. And Capricorn, when you guys met, they would adorn you with compliments, with attention. They made you feel really good about yourself. They made you feel really attractive. They made you feel really sexy. They tell you you're sexy. They tell you you're hot. They tell you everything that you wanted to hear, but that's the issue, right? It was everything you wanted to hear, but was it everything that was truly in their heart of wanting to pursue anything further? 
Um, Capricorn, you caught their eye when they first met you. I don't know if you were out in public, you were at a bar, you were at a, a friend's house or somewhere where you, once they laid eyes on you, they wanted to hit you up. They wanted to talk you up. They wanted to get your information. They wanted to see what was good with you. Um, they got your in social media, your Instagram handle. They got your phone number. And then they were heavily pursuing you. And you thought like, damn, for some of you, and it could be roles reversed, right? But you're like, damn, like they're really strongly coming towards me. They must really want this with me. And then for you to only just once you kind of started to really get intimate, once you even hooked up, even physically, then they were out the door. That was the first time they left you like that. And even like, again, like some of you, this is ghosting type of, this is ghosting type of energy going on here. And you were confused, confused at the sudden switch of energy. But no, Capricorn, that's how, that's how they operate. It feels a bit self-centered. It feels self-motivated. They go for what they want in that second. And the next time something flashy appears, they're off to the next. But the game changed when they started interacting with you. I feel then, you know, when they started to get bored, lonely, they'd hit you up, text you. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, I was doing this and that and this was going on. I even think that was a lie, um, but it was like when they started to get lonely again, they would hit you up, but now you're not reciprocating it. Now you're not dealing with it and they're struggling with that because how they feel about you, seven of swords, Aquarius energy, like I said, they're realizing karma is biting them. They're realizing now that you are on to newer and better you're not giving them a second look, a second glance, or this is the energy you're at least putting off to them. And mentally, it's making them look at, oh shit, <laughs> what have I done? What did I, now Capricorn's not gonna give me a chance. Now Capricorn's not going to trust me. Definitely, they know they've lost your trust. And the thing is, now they feel alone. And before they thought that was exactly what they wanted was to be single, to be alone. But now they see you doing your thing. I don't know. I don't know if you're doing something with your career, doing something with your life. Um, you've been posting about it or you've just been carrying on, I guess, is the best way to put it. They're starting to feel the repercussions of their actions. And they feel guilty. They definitely do. They feel guilty the way they treated you the way things played out between the two of you. And now they're stuck. And isn't that ironic? What they think about you is the world card. Fixed energy, Taurus, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio energy. Honestly, so different messages for some of you, they think you're on to the next. You're evolving. You're moving on. You're doing well. Um, you're looking good. You have this energy that, you know what song I'm hearing right now is um, Whitney Houston. It's not right, but it's okay. I'm going to make it anyway. Close the door behind you. Leave your keys. I'd rather be alone than be unhappy. And even like Destiny's Child Survivor type of energy here. If you don't know those songs, look it up. They may resonate with you. But it's like you're, you've learned your lessons. You've grown from this. You've evolved from this. And I do feel, Capricorn, whether you're still kind of feeling this or it was a lot stronger in the beginning, like you were really down and out about it. You really did feel like you were played, that you were just done so dirty kind of thing. But now it's it's a lot it's a lot easier to think about now. Cause I think, Capricorn, you realize that hurt people hurt people. And that it wasn't even just you. It wasn't anything personal. It's just how this person kind of went through life when they wanted something, they do everything that they can to get it, but it was only temporary. But you're looking for something that is gonna be long term. 
you're looking towards the future, you're looking towards your own happiness, and it's showing. And others of you, Capricorn, they think it's a, that as far as you're concerned, as far as you look at them, it's a wrap. That what is said is said, what is done is done, it happened, and I'm it's just not something you're looking to give another go at. And for some of you, they're in this loop of thinking with you, Capricorn. They haven't learned the lesson yet still. They recognize you're not texting back. They recognize you're not reaching out. They recognize you're not hitting them up. But they still aren't fully getting, I feel, what is to be learned from this. And they just think of you, even after all the people they may have experimented with, after all the people they may have played with, you're still the one that's on their mind. For some reason, I'm hearing blunt. Um, someone could be blunt, but I, I literally saw like a blunt. Uh, you guys used to smoke blunts together, or maybe you're rolling a blunt right now, or that's type of your thing. I don't know, but anyway. Six of Pentacles is what they liked about you the most. Taurus energy. That you're giving. If you're interested in someone, you don't play games. You'll give them your attention. You'll dig into it. You'll, you know, go on dates. You'll have interest in your genuine and your real with what you give. And for a while, Capricorn, you may, you may have overgiven to this person. And even for a bit, every time they left, you would let them back into your life, let them back into your home. For them to just walk out again, but it's not the same anymore. It's not the same because what they don't like about you is the death card, Scorpio energy. You put an end to it. The last time they walked out, the last time they ghosted you, the last time they did, you know, whatever they usually do to you, you said that's it. That is it. I'm done. And you're serious about it. You could have even gone to the extent of blocking this person, blocking their number, blocking their, um, their Instagram, their social media. Sorry, I saw like a box of stuff. Like you even may have given them anything they left at your house. You returned it all. You're, you're just return, returning to sender, like, even energetically. And they feel the seriousness of it too, Capricorn. What they like the most about the connection, Three of Cups, Cancer Energy. I mean, they always had a good time with you. The sex was bomb with you. Um, you know, I feel like you were the type, maybe you went to parties with them, you kind of um, reveled a little bit, drank with them, smoked with them. And if that's not so much the case, it was just like when they're around you, they always had a blast. They always had a good time. And you kept things like between the two of you, it was friends with benefits or very, very casual. Even if that's not how you saw it, that's, or maybe eventually saw it, but, um, that's how they kind of like to keep it as. And that it worked for a while. But what they don't like about you, or the, about the connection, excuse me, is the high, ref, or <laughs> the high priestess, my goodness. Um, Pisces energy, cancer energy, you're silent. You're not revealing anything. They are really trying to figure out what it is about you, Capricorn, that now all of a sudden they're finding really, really hard to control within themselves, hard to stop thinking about. Um, they are reminded of you, of even what they did to you. Spirit sending them the messages, the confirmations that, yeah, Capricorn was someone important. Capricorn was someone that could have been loyal. Capricorn was someone that had a whole lot to give. And they're kind of digging deep into that, into why they felt the need to push you out, reject you, play you like that. And they're going in as deep as that can go. Um, but yeah, you're silent. You're silent and they're trying to figure out what they can do to get you to open up again, talk again, 
reveal yourself again, but man, spirit is really showing them everything they lost when they decided to do you like that. Highest hopes. Isn't this shocking? Ten of Cups, Pisces energy. Capricorn, they want the Ten of Cups with you. They thought of having the Ten of Cups with you. And there, it, it's like all of a sudden reappeared to them in their mind everything that they could have had. You Again, you were loyal, you were giving, you were real. And emotionally, you know, I, I think this person doesn't quite run on emotions until they were with you. And then all of a sudden, feelings started to come up. Feelings started to surface. Some of you, they even talked about like getting you pregnant or having you get them pregnant, but you didn't fall in that trap. And if you did, they're using the kids you have as a tool to stay connected with you. Deepest fears, 10 of wands, two tens by the way, major cycles completing, especially with the world. You've learned your lessons, you've grown. You played the player at their own game. Some of you could be born on January 10th, maybe December 20th or your um, January 20th as well. But you're dropping the load, Sagittarius energy, that really you'll only see this as more karma, more work, more disappointment, more burdens for you to carry. You're the only one that wants this. You're the only one that's carrying this. And you're dropping the load. It's done. Dropping it like it's hot. You know, Capricorn, you're, you're just over it. That's what they are afraid of. And maybe that fear is for good reason, too. For the likely outcome of this situation, Capricorn, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. But before we go, I will pull a card from this deck. And I'm going to ask Spirit if there's anything else they think about you, anything else they think about this connection that they haven't said. Oof. Oh, being with you feels like home. And then I wish you peace, happiness, and love. Like they really do have some sort of newfound respect for you, Capricorn. And they do admire you in some way. They do have love for you in some way. I mean, you play them at their own game and I think they see you eye to eye for that. And if it wasn't playing with at them at their own game, let's just say you, you threw a curveball at them. Let's just say that way. And it was one they didn't expect. It was one that they didn't see coming. And now they understand what their own actions have done. And even for other people too, through what they had with you, through the experience they had with you. But yeah, I mean, the 10 of cups, like they're realizing out of anyone, they could have had that 10 of cups with you. You opened their feelings, which was very, very hard to do. And now it's something that they just, they're stuck on. And it may shock you because really I feel it was completely the other way around until you finally put an end to it. And now they're just manif or they're uh, marinating in their own consequences. You've taught them a lesson. Absolutely. And to see the likely outcome of this Capricorn, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. So I'm going to overturn this card to see what they're likely to do, what they want to do, but even dive deeper into this connection and ask Spirit if there's anything else you need to be aware of for your own knowledge, for your own well-being in regards to love. If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, I'm going to overturn this card and pull Oracle cards. You can open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the reading. But if this is where we depart Capricorn, I hope that this has resonated with you in some way and giving you clarity, healing, and insight in regards to what may be going on in your love life. If it did, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. 
And just in case you guys are interested, I am doing my two year anniversary giveaway because it's been two years since I started the channel. I can hardly believe it and I'm so thankful to have you guys in my life. So I am giving back. I'll be giving away a box of goodies of candles, crystals, tarot decks, all that good stuff to some lucky subscribers. So if you're interested in entering your chance to win, open up the description box, scroll down a little bit, and you'll find the rules of entry there. I love you Capricorn very much and I'll see you next time. Take care Capricorn.